Hi, I'm Carrie C. and I'm Ag Extension in Preston County and we're here today to talk a little bit about soil sampling. Before we get started, here are some tools and equipment that we need to have ready. If you have access to a core sampler, which you can get at your county extension office or at some feed stores, we'll loan them out to you. If you do not have access to a core sampler, a small spade or a shovel can do the job just as well. Now the best time to take soil samples is usually in the fall after a good hard freeze. And when you're ready to take your soil samples, you can obtain a free soil sampling kit from your local county extension office. Included in this is the mailing envelope and a plastic baggie. I like to use a little zip top baggie instead of the baggie that comes with the kit just to ensure that no soil gets out in the mail. The soil lab needs about a cup of soil to perform their tests properly. So how we take a soil sample is we find a place in our pasture and it helps sometimes to draw out your pasture before you go out with your soil sampler. If you have areas that are well drained as opposed to areas that are not well drained, it's good to take those samples separately and send them in separately in case there are different nutritional requirements for your soil. You can start with a core sampler. You will take a core sample and it needs to be about six inches deep for a proper soil sample. And you'll collect about 15 to 20 borings per 10 acres in a field. And then you will dump the core sample into the bucket and go around your field and collect your samples and put them all in the same bucket. And then you'll mix them all up and dry them. Now it's best not to dry them in an oven or in direct sunlight or on newspaper or paper towels because the chemicals from the paper processing can get into your soil and alter your results. If you do not have access to a core sampler, you can take a regular shovel and just make sure that your, your sample is about six inches deep. And if you don't have a ruler on you, a dollar bill is about six inches in length. Your county extension agent is here to help you decipher the results of your soil test and also if you need help collecting the soil samples or advice on what to do. The purpose for doing soil samples is when the fertilizer market is volatile as it has been in the past several years. Sometimes if our soil doesn't require a certain nutrient, it's best not to purchase it and put it on because it eventually will become leached off into water systems or it's just unnecessary. And nobody likes to waste money. The soil testing program is provided free to the consumer with funds from the West Virginia Legislature and services from West Virginia University. This video has been filmed on location at the WVU Reedsville Farm in Preston County. For more information on how WVU Extension works in your community, log on to the address on the screen.